In the event of a flat tire, first make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. If your vehicle is equipped with air suspension, you'll need to enable tire jack mode in the Uconnect system with the engine running. This will disable automatic leveling when changing a tire. Next, make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. It's a good idea to block the front and rear of the tire diagonally opposite the jacking position. For example, if changing the left rear tire, block the right front tire. The jack and jack tools are stored under the front passenger seat. To access them, remove the plastic cover located on the side of the seat by pulling the front part of the cover toward you to release a locking tab. Once the front of the cover is loose, slide it toward the front of the seat until it is free from the seat frame. Remove the wing bolt and slide the tool assembly from under the seat. Remove the spare tire before attempting to jack up the truck. Attach the lug wrench to the jack extension tube. Make sure the spring clip in each extension tube section clicks together in the mating extension tube. The handle, comprised of all the extension tubes, locks at all positions except the lug wrench attachment. Insert the tube through the access hole between the lower tailgate and the top of the bumper and into the winch mechanism tube. Rotate the lug wrench handle counterclockwise until the spare tire is on the ground with enough cable slack that you can pull it out from under the vehicle. When the spare is clear, tilt the retainer at the end of the cable and pull it through the center of the wheel. Now loosen, but do not remove the wheel lug nuts by turning them counterclockwise one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Be aware that your vehicle may have locking lug nuts and require the use of an included special tool. Now look for the proper jacking locations. For a front wheel, place the scissor jack under the rear portion of the lower control arm with the handle extended diagonally toward the rear of the vehicle. For a rear wheel, Place the jack under the rear lifting point with the handle extended to the rear of the vehicle. Make sure the jack itself is level. There should be no one inside the vehicle. Stay clear of the area below the vehicle when using the jack or changing a tire and never start the engine when the vehicle is up on the jack. Now you're ready to raise the vehicle. Before you connect the lug wrench handle to the jack, make sure the jack is directly below the proper lift point. Then. Use your fingers to turn the jack screw clockwise to raise the jack until it's securely seated under the lift point. The center line of the jack should sit right on the center line of the axle. Don't jack at an angle or you could ruin the jacking tools. Now, connect the hook attachment to the jack handle assembly and use it to raise the vehicle. Keep the handles in line with the jack to minimize lifting effort and to ensure jack function. Raise the vehicle until you've got just enough clearance to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and finish removing the lug nuts and wheel. Place the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Now reinstall the lug nuts with the cone-shaped end toward the wheel. Lightly tighten the lug nuts clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack counterclockwise and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug nuts. Alternate lug nuts until each lug nut has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for the final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with the torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, winch the cable into storage position and safely stow the flat tire. Stow the jack and jack tools back under the passenger seat and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.